What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Career Mode, this is episode number 69, lol 69, sex pun, lol let's all talk about how funny the number is, but uh, yeah 69, and uh, we start the episode off with the Europa League, uh, this was the, the fifth game I think it was against Vitesse, and um, to be honest it's such a tight group, I haven't showed the table because I haven't really been bothered, but um, at the end of the day I, I think if we won this game we would be basically automatically through as long as we got a point in the last game, but uh, we got off to a bad start in the second half with Havanagh finding the back of the net, um, but but this was just, I mean, you know, it always makes me laugh when AI do this because I know they're going to get in trouble eventually uh, when they just pass the ball around the back and they do because Carroll finds Jordan Slew. Slew uh, turns around his mouth with a nice fake shot and smashes the ball into the back of the net. It's, it's so weird why the AI always do that, you know, just pass the ball between each other. Then one of them smacks it and you always seem to recover the ball and have a shot on goal. So, uh, yeah, 1 1 at this stage. And uh, from this goal kick, Reese Bennett loses out in the header. It comes to Havanagh, but he wins the ball back for us. Finds John Taylor. Taylor, who's been a great sign, and he finds Andy Carroll. Carroll back to John Taylor, cuts inside, tries to play the ball across to uh, Jordan Slew, but Carroll gets in the way. But thankfully for me, Carroll's got some great ball control, and he manages to do the robot after scoring. So 2-1 uh, to Liverpool. Uh, Vitesse really weren't a match for us here. This was Carroll down the left-hand side, finding Asaidi, and this is a really nice um, drag-back fake after a little uh, sort of a, a fake shot sort of stand standing fake shot thing and uh, yeah taken out from that drag back fake wins a penalty and uh, I'm not sure who I gave this to I think it was uh, who was it was Shelby yeah Shelby uh, Shelby steps up can he finish against Val Friesen yes he can puts it past him nice finish from uh, Shelby the former Charlton player to make it Liverpool 3 Vitesse 1 but uh, Vitesse weren't done there they were going to do their best to try and get, uh, get a point out of this game and uh, Shanturia's Ronaldo chop completely fooled me with Reese Bennett and uh, he managed to pull one back but it did finish 3-2 and uh, I think you'll see in a minute it means that in our last game we just need one point to qualify uh, for the knockout stages of the Europa League which is great news because uh, although I'm not too bothered it's, it's always nice to uh, keep ourselves in as many tournaments uh, as possible especially for like the Europa League and the Capital One Cup where you can just play your fringe players get them uh, get them game time and um, you know have them have them gain experience in terms of attributes and stuff but uh, here's my fake South Korean striker I signed only 51 rated we'll try and uh, send him out on loan in January but uh, he's also got four, four star skills which is nice and um, yeah we'll have to wait and see how he does but um, yeah we're top of the group and just one point in our last game will see us through to the next round of the Europa League but uh, the next game was against Arsenal at Anfield uh, obviously I had my first choice first choice team back for this game and I uh, was feeling really confident about this game uh, obviously Arsenal quite a decent side on the game but uh, even so I felt really confident but unfortunately just five minutes in Olivier Giroud with a lovely header from a Kazuki Honda corner uh, to put uh, Arsenal uh, in front early on but uh, from this corner here Zuma's header it was her game of corners Zuma's header I think that's his first goal for the club as well, Kurt Zoom with a bullet header past Fabianski and that made it Liverpool 1, Arsenal 1, but this is the game unfortunately where we would lose our winning streak or unbeaten streak in the league, we've we've been doing really well, we've only lost one game so far and uh, drawn two, but unfortunately for us Rubinho came off the bench and just played insane, it was too hard to stop, he's amazing on this game Rubinho, absolutely amazing and uh, he was unfortunately too hard to stop, this is Rubinho once again finding Honda, Honda holds off Gonlons, keeps holding the ball, keeps going, crosses the ball in and Rubinho with a great header past David De Gea, Liverpool one Arsenal three. Unfortunately, that's how the game finishes. So it's the first loss in a league since that loss on the second game of the season against Blackburn at Ewood Park. So really disappointed to lose at Anfield for the first time, and uh, dropping points to a title rival is never nice to uh, see. But uh, the following game is away at St Mary's to take on Southampton. They're down the bottom half of the table, so I felt really confident going into this game. But uh, unfortunately for us, it was it was it was still going to be difficult. But um, Mayuka is just full of pace, man. He's very hard to stop on this. And uh, he found Jay Rodriguez here. His shot was well saved by De Gea. But I brought on Slew for Casemiro at halftime. Thought maybe Slew can be the difference. You know, inject some pace into the game. See if he can uh, be the difference. And uh, with about a quarter of an hour to go, uh, Southampton gave the ball away. Belhanda found Zaha. Zaha found Chevalier, who found Jordan Slew. And this shot, I mean, seriously, you need like, one of those uh, sort of speed guns on this shot. What power on that? That was insane. Smashed the underside of the bar, came down across the goal line and just ballooned up in the air. That was an amazing goal from Slew. 1-0 uh, to Liverpool. It looked like we were going to close out the three points here, but unfortunately Mayuka's cross in, and unfortunately the Haya comes for the ball and loses it in the air. Really should be doing better than that. Drops the ball and Gaston Ramirez heads the ball into the empty net. So we, we squandered the three points there. That should have been an easy win, and uh, we end up getting just a single point. So disappointing to only get uh, one point from our last two games. But the final game is a Europa League clash against SK Brown. 
Bran. Uh, if you would have seen a league table, of course, all we needed was one point to qualify. And I'm going to spoil it for you. It was such a boring game. It ended 0-0. It was really, really poor. I didn't even show any highlights. It was that bad. But we do go through to the next round, Europa League. And that is the main thing, as the uh, group group winners as well. But uh, as always, guys, a big thank you for watching. The last thing you'll see is that Europa League group table. And uh, yeah, I'll see you for the next episode very soon.